Whoa, hold on. Hey, what's going on? Hold on. I we see dumb cops do the dumbest things all the time. No guns, right? Yeah. Inside the car? Yeah. Okay. These officers tried to bully this guy, who later turned out to be a federal agent. What did they say? Oh. Wrong guy. Oh. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Oh my God. Wrong guy. Get ready for some jaw-dropping moments as we count down three times cops had to deal with higher-ranking officers. Got the wrong guy? You've been your racial first part, oh, am I? Yeah, you're wrong. You're assuming I'm someone that I'm not. Are you Jake? No, I'm not Jake. I, you look like Jake. Starting off, we have the two cops from the Rochester Police Department who tried to flex their authority on this guy who was just sitting outside a bar smoking. Hey, you're fucking harassing me. Harassing. Yes, you are. No, no, no. He's harassing me. Why are you harassing me? You're assuming I'm someone I'm not. Okay, if you're not, then... No, 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 no. You're not free to go, okay? Us. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? Because I think you have more. You think? Yeah. That's an illusion. That's, that's an okay. illusion. You think? Right, well, right. Stand up for your hands. I'm not. Yes. Yes. For what? I don't have any more. You're very wrong. Okay, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No, you are wrong. What do you mean if you're wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. The officers were convinced that he was the person they were looking for, but the man was sure he wasn't, and he accused the overzealous cops of racially profiling him. For what? For what? Can you tell me for what? For what? For what? For what? I'm, I'm, I'm under arrest for what? No, no, no. If you got the wrong guy, I'm suing all of you guys. The ensuing encounter was captured on a cell phone camera, and things got quite heated up as the officers grabbed at him and made the decision to arrest him. Hey, yo! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey. hey officer! Oh, hey, wait, no, no, no! Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Matter of fact, matter of fact, look at my ID. He got the wrong guy, I'm telling you. Look at my ID, motherfucker. You guys look at You can hear several voices in the background, probably from people who knew who the man was, telling the officers that they had the wrong guy. This guy got the cleanest record, y'all just... I'll take both of you motherfuckers. Right now, take the cuffs off. Guys are fucking stupid, man. You guys are the dumbest motherfuckers I've ever seen. They want to get tough. Grab his fucking wall. You are stupid. I don't know how you hey, became yo, a cop. The wrong dude, Matter of fact, anybody can become a cop nowadays. Yeah, so you wrong. guys really had no other choice to do? You guys really had nothing else to go to college for but be a cop and harass me? To assume I'm somebody I'm not? The officers would later learn, perhaps a little too late, that the guy they had in cuffs wasn't their suspect. Oh, what does that say? Go. What does that say? Oh! Wrong guy! Oh! Wrong guy! Oh my god! Guy. No, get the f off me, dude! Okay. Get off cuffs. me, dude! Bro, you're you fed up! Matter of fact, I need your cards. I need your yeah. supervisor over here. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. <laughs> Call your supervisor. <laughs> Call your supervisor over here. You guys are the stupidest I ever met in my life. How'd you guys. You got, what the f is wrong with you guys? Look at him. 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 You, 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 and you. Because you guys are all stupid. It wasn't a lot of talk. Somebody you rest in and assume and I'm someone and try to. Right, and he made a mistake. Really? And then once he figured out who no. you were, he unhandcuffed you. No, what if somebody did that to you? What if somebody did that to you? I was going to jail anyways. Huh? Matter of fact, I was going to jail anyways. You got life. You ain't going to just buckle up and just leave. Leave. Just get out of here. You guys leave. Leave. Have a good night. No, you guys have a good night. Get the f no, 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 no. Get the f out of here, yeah. piece of shit. You guys are dumb. You're the dumbest I've ever met in my life. Get the f out of my face. They tried to explain and defend their actions, but the already infuriated federal agent would have none of it from them, calling for their supervisor and asking for their cards. No, you guys, you guys, you guys are supposed to be upstanding citizens. You guys are not. They're, they're bogus. I'm holding the law. You guys are dumb as a f ever met. Go. Get the f out of here. Bro, let's go. Come on, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's the stupidest shit I've ever met, man. Oh, you good, bro? You all right? You all right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. You all right? No, there's three times. Tell me about your game, man. No, 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 no. Hugs, stupid, you got one bitch. So you guys can make a mistake and kill someone and be like, oh, well. You don't give a fuck. No, we're not going to make that How do you know? This nigga turned out, somebody could have got killed right now. No, we're talking about shit. Nobody did. Somebody could have died. Nobody did. All right, so until it happens, that's when you guys try to take some responsibility. Nobody got hurt. Nobody's going to jail.
because piece of shit ass cops. You see that shit, yo? Yeah. Are you a fed? How you doing, sir? Good. All right. What's up? Deputy Turner with the sheriff's office. The reason okay. I'm stopping you is your your plate's obstructed. Yeah. Whatever that thing's got, you got to take it off, okay? Okay. Because it got to be visible within a certain distance. Right. Now watch how skeptical cops detain a former U.S. Air Force special agent for having FBI credentials. Oh, you pull over when it's safe to do No, you pull over immediately. Okay? Let me tell you this. That, and, and now you pull over immediately. Sure. Um, because I don't know what you're doing inside this car. Sure, yeah. Hiding guns, you know what I mean? Yeah. Officer safety is number one. Sure. So pull over immediately if, sure. for whatever reason, I find it not safe, yeah. I'll get on the PA and say, hey, turn over at whatever stop. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. when you keep rolling, it, it, it makes it go to from like just a routine deal yeah, to I like... I just didn't want to stop right there in the road where there's nowhere to pull over. Yeah, well, I initially turned, turned on right when you were in front of that little I store. I wanted to get, sure, yeah. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? But you, but you were like way back there. I, I thought I didn't know if you were running your sirens for me or for... Well, oh, and then even then, yeah. when you see sirens going, what are you supposed to do? Still keep going or pull over so the cops sure, can go past yeah, you? Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, no, I know, we train together. You're yeah. the gang, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The cause of the traffic stop was an improper display of the rare license plate, which isn't an infraction in the state of Nevada, but a misdemeanor. Knowing this, the deputy tries to assert his dominance from the get-go. Here he gets at the driver for not pulling over immediately. So who are you? Oh, I'm I guess I could... here. Former NDOC, and I used to work security at Harris. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a contract here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have insurance my, my on this partner, thing? My partner, huh? You have insurance on this thing? Yeah. Your partner or what? Now my partner called me. I'm a contractor with Southwest Gas. Mm -hmm. So I got to go over there and, and get him logged into his computer. Okay. So I was kind of in a rush. Hey, you live where? Here in Carson City. Where at? Uh, uh, Imperial. I, I haven't stopped you before, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying to, because you said, you know, but I, I can't. In my mind, I'm... Notice how he escalates the situation when he uses interrogation tactics that seem designed to lead the driver to incriminate himself. So you just got the car, right? Uh, in November. Or, okay. Yeah, just, well, because you gave me this, that's why. Sure, I, yeah, it's whatever's in there. Is the insurance not in there? Like, if it's not, I got the mobile. Uh, no, well, I just, I don't yeah. see it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but do that, man, because I don't, like I said, yeah, hey, you know what? When you're that far behind, though, that to me, I was like, all right, is this guy pulling me over? Or was, what's going on? Yeah. So once I'm on there and I, and I ain't got nowhere to pull over, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I didn't want to just pull over and stop up and hold up traffic like yeah. that. So. And at that point, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll make that call. If there's too much traffic, yeah. we'll make that call for you. Go ahead and step out, man. No weapons on you like that? Nah. All right, I'm going to take you out like this just to check. Okay, right. go for that one for me. Put that down for now, and then I'll do it for you. So you're not a, uh, like, law enforcement, right? You're not a law enforcement officer? Yeah. Huh? What? Are you a cop? No, no. Okay, so you said you work security, yeah. right? Okay. I'm a, con I'm a security contractor. Copy. Whose car is it? Who? So I'm going to put these on for now, okay? Because, uh, wouldn't relax? Yeah, they shouldn't be red and white, brother. Where'd you get this? That's issued to you. Issued to you? Federal Bureau okay. of Investigation badge. So let me, I'm going to okay. read you your rights too, okay? Because sure. you're, you're handcuffed, you know what I mean? So I feel more yeah. comfortable that way. So the other rights remain solid. Anything, anything you say can and will be used in the court of law. Yeah. If the right to talk to an attorney have a present with you prior to any question, if you wish one. Sure. Uh, if you cannot afford one, we'll, one will be provided to you by the courts. Yeah. Okay, have your rights in mind. You want to talk to me? Let me see this thing over here. No guns, right? Yeah. Inside the car? Yeah. Okay. Within a few minutes, the deputy sees something on the car dashboard and finds out that the device displays strobing red and blue lights. You're not allowed to have red and blues, sure. right? Because then sure. you could easily impersonate Red. A police officer. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, that's the reason I have you in cuffs. Okay. okay? Right. You have this. This is great. Sure. You know what I mean? So, who issued this to you? My former employer. Your former employer? Yeah. So, you used to work for the FBI at I, one point? I've contracted with the Department of Justice and the FBI. 
and other here in Reno. Here in Reno, where's their office at, or what? Uh, resident agency. It's um, off of. Uh, it's next to Wells Fargo. It's right by the traffic circle. There. From that moment on, he went from being a friendly officer to a cop on a mission to put that driver behind bars. You ever been arrested? Nah. Never been arrested? Not as an adult, no. Not as a, just a juvenile? Yeah. What is this, Nevada State of Nevada, private investigator. Yeah. So I see, I mean, and you're an investigator. Sure. Cool. Yeah. But then you're also... I'm a contractor for Southwest Gas. For Southwest, so that's like that's your... That's here, yeah. That's your primary job? Yeah, it's my part-time job, and I have my own uh, cybersecurity company. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is... That's where I was headed to right now. Okay. To log my partner back into his computer because he got locked out. Okay. Yeah. And then this right here. This did yeah, you that's, work? A, that's a guard card. Yeah, that's that's a Nevada. That's PIOB private investigators licensing board. That's a, that's an issued guard card. Yeah. Yes. And this, I mean, you're allowed to. I, I mean, sure, you get yeah. this because you. Yeah. Private secure or yeah, yeah, private yeah. investigation. Maybe I think my wife's cheating on me. Sure. And I hire you, right? Yeah, yeah. Would that would that be what it be? Yeah. Like, yeah. I can hire yeah, you sure, and be yeah. like, hey, yeah, yeah. Go follow my wife or yeah. do whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, Is this, yeah, but you yeah. have to go through. No, no, no. I, I, I'm also no. I'm a cybersecurity researcher. Also, I don't have to do all of that. To hire me as a PI, I don't even need that. You can hire me as a hacker. So why did you get this? This is, that's what I've worked previously. The encounter gets even worse as the driver keeps answering more questions, which ultimately leads the deputy to discover his FBI badge. You have an FBI badge. Okay, I used to be a task force officer mm -hmm. with the FBI. Okay, which task force? Station? Yeah. Okay. Right. You ever work for them? <laughs> so you know LPP? So when did you work for him? Well, I'm texting somebody right now. If you impersonate a federal officer, you're going to be in trouble. Okay. okay. Right. And like I said, with the red and blues, that alone right there, okay? Sure. That's what you're in. in that, that that, but that's not that's not an offense in and of itself to have red and blue yes, lights. Yes, it is. And I'm going to show you the NRS. To actually run, you have to actually run those you. lights. No, you don't. They're in your vehicle, and I must destroy those. Right. Okay? And I'm going to pull up the NRS for you. I've went through okay. a police officer academy. I know what the NRS well, is. You might again, but I went have through... Have they updated the NRS? Have they, have they? Okay. The cops appeared to question the legitimacy of his FBI credentials, warning him that he could get into big trouble if he was impersonating a federal agent. So that was issued to you, you say, right? That little FBI deal? You know, you didn't steal it or find it yeah. or... No? And then that, uh... The ID, where'd you get that? Because it does have the Department of... The, that, that's my, my, that was issued to me by my employer. That's issued to me by my employer, the ID. That's Not the yeah. Southwest one, but the other one. The other, that's issued by the state of Nevada. Did you, where, where, can I go and get one of those too? Sure, me? yeah, with the necessary like, training. Can a private citizen go and get yeah, that? Yeah. What kind of training you, do you, you go to? You, go to, you get a security guard job and you get your license to your employer. And then to upkeep that, whether you're a What's all this right here? Is this like a key it's to a get USB. the car running or no? Nah, it's a USB. Oh, USB deal? Hey, so to get that, you get licensed with the security company, depending on whether you're armed or not. Then you know you qualify as, as uh, you know per FBI. Uh, so your wallet's in the car. Where'd you get your yeah right? Yeah, your... you guys got my wallet. Okay. Yeah. And despite not having proof of a crime being committed, they detained him anyway. So there's like steps too. I don't know what siren. Oh, this please. is um, this yeah, is that crypto anyways, shit. Yeah. What happened thereafter was a complete fiasco as they went ahead and turned his car inside out without his permission. X-ray five. Can you also run a QH on the subject, please? That's a plus. Why did I lose my? Dude. I changed my uniform. Move some stuff around. He's got a vest back. He got his ID card. He's got a vest back here. Yeah. What the? 
Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you his ID. He's got a fugitive recovery agent jacket. Wow. Unfortunately, this agent seemed not to fully know his rights and how to exercise them when dealing with the police. At gunpoint. Driver, roll the window down! Police body camera footage, dated December 5th, 2020, shows the moment U.S. Army Lieutenant Karen Nazario was held at gunpoint and pepper sprayed during a traffic stop in Windsor, Virginia. Felony traffic stop. Put your hands out the window! Put your hands out the window! Turn the vehicle off, put your hands out the window! The Army Lieutenant was driving his brand new Chevy Tahoe that evening when he noticed a Windsor police squad car on his tail. He's not complying, Joe. Come around your side. Let me see your hands! How many occupants are in the vehicle? What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? Open the door slowly and step out! Open the door! I'm not getting out the vehicle. What's going on? Get out the car! Open the door slowly and get out! What's going on? Get out of the car! Now! Open the door and get out of the car! Well, you'd think the officers would understand his reasonable concerns for his own safety and theirs when he decided to reduce the speed and pull over in a well-lit area, but no. Instead, the officers thought that Nazario was trying to elude them and even called it a felony traffic stop. Get out of the car now! I'm serving this country and this is how I'm treated? Yo, look, guess what? I'm a veteran too. I'm going to obey. That's Get out of the car. What's going on? Get out of the car now. What's going on? What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. I'm sorry, what? Get out of the car now. What's going on? Get out on? of the car now. Get out of the car. Sir, just get out of the car. Work with us and we'll talk to you. Get out of the car. You receive an order. Obey it. I'm... I'm af I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you should be. Going? Get out. What's get going out. on? What get did out I the do? Car. Get out now. I have not committed any crime. Things quickly went south from there onwards, with the officers Joe Gutierrez and Daniel Crocker coming out of their vehicles with sirens blazing and guns drawn out. Who told me why I'm being stopped? Really? Get your get, hands. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hey. hands off me. Get your hands off me. Back up, I didn't do anything. That's when Officer Gutierrez Pepper sprayed him out of the vehicle, ordering him to the ground while kicking him. And for what? I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're going to treat me? Back up, I didn't do anything. Whoa, hold on. Back What's up. going on? Hold on. Watch, Watch it. Air Force is deployed. Get out of the car! <laughs> Get out of the car now! That's, that's fucked up. That's fucked get up. Get out of the car now! Sir, just get out of the car! I'm trying to breathe. Ugh. Get out of the car now! That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. Get, oh, get out of the car and get on the ground now. You're gonna get it again. I, I don't even want to reach my seatbelt. Can you? Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Can you please? Get out of the car now! Look. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. Look, my hands are out. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. My hands are out. Don't reach other. Don't reach other. My hands are out. Please. Please. Look. This is really messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking. Get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. What are you, a specialist? Corporal, are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Ma'am. Is your commanding officer available? Ma'am, let's go. Is your command Let's go. available? Get on the ground. Get on the Can ground. Please talk to Get me on the ground now. On. Get on the ground and you're getting sprayed again. Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's Get going on? Get on the ground. On. Get on the ground now. Can you please talk to me Get about what's going on? Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's yes, going sir. on? Yes, sir. You're not. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Why? Because you're not cooperating. Get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? 
this is really Come on, sir. <laughs> sir, what? Just what? This, this, this is really. This is fucked up. Sir. This is fucked up. Sir. Sir. You know this is fucked up. Lay on the ground. Just lay flat. Lay flat for me, sir. You know this is fucked up. Sir, lay flat. Lay flat. This is fucked up. I can't fucking believe I'm being treated like this. And I'm fucking real. Get on the ground. In their report, the police said they pulled the army man over for not having a visible rear license plate. But in the footage, a temporary license plate can be seen in the rear window of the then new SUV. Sir, this lay down, really I'm gonna taste up. Lay down, you're gonna get tased. Lay down, you're gonna get tased. This All is right. fucked up. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. I agree. All you have to do is listen. All right, Halo 3, the one in the custody. This is f***ed up. Can you open up the window for my dog? I hear him choking. Can you open up the window, please? Right. Yes. Stand yes, up. we will. Stand up, okay? Is there any weapons on you, sir? No. Okay. Any weapons in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. What kind? Where in the at? What kind of dog you got? He's mixed. He's a service animal. So why did you do what we asked, sir? Why did you just do what we asked? Slime, no, you know. weren't. You were not. My partner put his blue lights on. Yes. You didn't stop. I was pulling over to a well-lit area for my safety and yours. I have respect for law enforcement. No, you don't. So no, you don't. No. Wrong answer, sir. If you did, we would not be in this situation right now. Can All right. Can I get some water, please? Absolutely. Sit, sit right on this curb right here. Back, turn, turn around. Come sit yeah, on this curb. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Can, I, can you get some water? Can you right. open up the window for my dog? I, I got him. I got him. I, got him. I, got him. I am choking. We I got him. him all in. We already opened it. I'm going to go grab sit a bottle of water. Sit down on the curb. All right, Joe. It's it's dark over there. Those areas are dark. I did not feel comfortable. Right, Those areas are dark. Right, I need a cup of water. water for you. You pour it on my face. It's, it's gonna make it worse. You know that, all right. right? All right. So if it's gonna make it worse, don't do it then. Yeah, it's gonna reactivate the and make it worse. The They're right here. Where the medics? They're here. I, well, I need them to talk to me. What's, They're, what's they're right here beside you. This incident serves as a prime example of how broken police training is and law enforcement's attitude toward the public, especially people of color. Can you please take the cuffs off? There's nothing going on. There's nothing wrong. Come well, on. This there obviously there is because you wouldn't comply with us. All we do is ask you to get out of the car. And you refused. You said, no, I'm not getting out of the car. I was asking what was going on. My hands are out the window. And we told you it was a traffic stop, and you refused to comply. I'm telling you, I know it doesn't make sense, but the more you blink, the better it's going to be. I didn't believe the guys when they told me either, okay? But the more you blink, the better it's going to get. Can you please take the cuffs off no. me? Please. I need to... No. I need to relax. Okay. If, if we didn't okay, so have the us, then yeah. Can, I, I did not fight too much. Can you, can you adjust this, please? So my wrist can take each other, please? Make a lock. Please. When I take your arms out, do not pull away, okay? I'm not going to pull away. I'm just asking you to please work with me. I'm going to work with you as much as you work with me. All right, what do you want to do with this hand? I'm going to twist it around this thing. Yeah, All right. Where is your ID at, sir? I believe it's in this, uh... This pocket. Here? Yes. You, you feel something rectangular? Yeah. It'd have been over. He'd be gone. Look, like he said, he's a vet. He don't want to get you in no trouble with him. Yeah. Not dizzy, though, right? You need to follow him? I got a bunch of gear in the vehicle. I'm, I'm transferring units right now. My vehicle's loaded up with gear. Well, specifically, he was asking about weapons. What kind of weapons you got there? It's right there. I'm sure he's sorry already. Right no, there. I mean, you just what got a handgun? You got yeah, a long gun? Yeah, handgun. I'm a firearm. Carry okay, dog, what's your on deployment or stay with family? Um, I'm making arrangements for that now. If I could, I would take them. That's, like, that's my kid. Okay, do me a favor. You're going to have a seat on your bumper right there, okay? I don't want you to fall down. I don't want you to hold on. You can just get relaxed right there. Lieutenant, what happened? Why wouldn't you comply? I looked out the mirror and I saw guns drawn. I put my hands out. 
and we told you, we identified ourselves, we told you to step out of the vehicle, and you wouldn't. All right, Mr. Nazario. So, back, let's go all the way back to square one, okay? I turned around on you at food line. I actually came out of cost plus, and I came up behind you. Uh, I you saw had, you before you turned. And you had no tags displayed. I, I see it, but per the law, it has to be in the license plate bracket. I understand it's paper, and I understand why it's there. Yes. But at that time, I had no idea. I didn't know that you had a vehicle registration until I approached your car. And at that point, I was too busy dealing with you to deal with the tag. You want me to wipe your eyes? As, as I was telling him, you know, I've pulled over to well-lit areas before, and I've never looked out the window and saw a gun so, blazing so, in, immediately. So, so, the, so the reason we did that is because we followed you for a mile and a half with lights and sirens on, and you didn't pull over. I understand you want to get to a well-lit area. A, a well -lit area. I get that, but when we follow you that long, look at look at the climate this day, and, and against everybody, against us, against y'all, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't want to hem you up. I'm gonna be straight up with you. You're a good man. You've made lieutenant in the army. How hard was that? That wasn't an easy task, was it? No, it wasn't. Officer Joe Gutierrez was fired from the police department following the encounter, and they were both charged with assault, battery, false imprisonment, and illegal search in a million-dollar federal lawsuit. All right, how's your eyes doing, Lieutenant? Better. And I keep calling you Lieutenant because I told you I'm a veteran. I respect rank, okay? I was a, I was a corporal in the Marine Corps. I respect rank. However, I do have a job to do, okay? I just talked about Chief of Police. You asked for a superior. He's off, obviously, right now. It's Saturday. I called him. He came out. talked. Here's how he... What I was thinking, I told him what I wanted to do. He said, that's no problem. Two ways we can handle this. We can either sit here with you until you get your eyes back where you can see, and I mean at a good distance, you're safe to drive, okay? And you're going down the road. Go do your deployment. Go continue serving my country, which I respect and I thank you for, okay? Or we can push the issue, write you tickets for no uh, license plate displayed and for resisting, or not resisting, uh, obstructive justice. I don't even need to go that route. Because that route makes the army get involved, and I know how they are. The, uh, you don't know this. The army, he'll, he'll vouch for it because um, he's been in and he's got friends that are legal officers. I know. The uh, military is the only place. Where, eyes, okay. The military is the only place where double jeopardy exists legally. Because whatever we do them, we do it to him. The army can turn around and jam for the same thing. I don't want to see that happen. I I do have a good rapport with my command, so. I wouldn't feel right not talking to them okay. about it. So well, I, that's entirely I, on you. I'll put it this way then for you. They're gonna hear from you. They will not hear from us. I'll give you that much respect, okay? Because I understand, I told you, I was in for six years. It's always better for the command to hear it first from you than somebody else. Especially the law enforcement. That's never a good thing. Go ahead and unhook it. The jury, however, largely sided with the officers and awarded second Lillian Caron Nazario less than $4,000 in damages. That's it for this one. See you next time.